we decided to go over this just quickly once once again because when we checked the video the last um um the first part of the video uh was kind of blurry you could hear it the audio part portion of it pretty well but when we looked at it you could only see the the dry erase board too well so we said we would go over this again for the whole wikipedia i mean wikipedia is so popularly talked about but it's not really understood and the first place you start is with the word what does the word mean in other words what does whatever you're looking at if it has a name what does this name mean or what is this name in reference to so in our short brief series that we're doing right now on what we consider to be a kind of a conspiracy of um, knowledge and information um, a kind of a control or according to the real meaning of this third part of what Julius Caesar was reported to have said in 47 um, um, BC, 47 years before the birth of Christ, um, JC or Julius Caesar, here we put Tsar, T Z A R, here we put Kaiser, the, the, German, the German way of pronouncing the K, because the C actually is a K pronunciation. So most will say this famous phrase which usually is interpreted to mean um, a piece of cake, that something was easy, something was not difficult. Um, and it's veni or veni vidi vici. You understand? Or veni vidi vici. Some might say vici. You understand? But all that is poor Latin. And Latin is one of our ancient languages. I'm saying this to our um, Afrocentric and black consciousness community, even the couple of the guests will tell you and remind you that the king of Rome and the king of Ethiopia, you understand, the true king of Rome are brothers. And this is interesting because I think there's an Ormo link. There's an Ormo link, uh, Arma, uh, Arma, Orma connection to, to the whole Latin thing. And the Ormos choosing to utilize um, the Latin letters to communicate their language instead of them hark might actually has more to do with their their desperate um, desire to reconnect with their full truth and their 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 own indigenous roots as a people on the whole Oromo subject matter and most will know this under the Gala we spoke about the Gala and the Gala and those connections right there but we just want to put this out that um, the Oromo and the and the Romans, brother to the Ethiopians, that there is a connection in the Kubra Neges or the Queen of Sheba and only son Minulik, which the society is coming out with its own publication on that important document, historical document. Um, look forward to it. Um, be that as it may, we just wanted to say that right there, and we'll get into that perhaps. That might be the next. Um, the next short lecture, the Oromo and the Roman, the ancient Roman connection. So maybe there's more to what the Kubernetes says about the king of Rome and the king of Ethiopia being brothers. As we already know that um, the early Romans were black peoples. And even many of the Roman emperors, the later emperors, were black people. And many of the, the Catholic Church, um, the original uh, Catholic Church, um, bishops and and leading people not just augustine who's from north africa but others also were of the black african stock to recognize that we as black people or ethiopians wherever water touches land you will find ethiopians there but because we're in a new world order this present 1776 uh, 1776 order a lot of that is not known because of the Gentile world domination. And Gentile world domination does connect with education. In fact, education is a main means, a main way. So when we notice that wiki improperly pronounced is Vicky or Vici, and is a part of Julius Caesar's famous saying that was alleged by Plutarch in the Roman historian Plutarch in about 47 AD when Julius Caesar gained the victory over Pharnacus, who was the king of Pontus, became even more interesting. So we looked it up. 
and we went to the Wikipedia page, as in the earlier part of this series, you can see we go to the, the page that you can go online and we look at what does it mean, do they give us a breakdown of Wiki and PDL, whatnot, and they didn't do that. And we said, this seems like a conspiracy. Why are they covering that up? Since they do this with every other word that comes out of a strange or foreign language, they go through a breakdown. But they did say that Wiki is some so-called computerized system or blah, 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 but they didn't give any real detail right there. But we'll go and we'll check it out again and see if they have anything more about it. But the fact that Viki or Wiki, the saying Wayne, Weedy, Wiki, one, two, three, I came, I saw, I conquered, mean it's a piece of cake. So Julius Caesar, Julius Julius Caesar saying this or reported saying this is one of the most well known Latin statements or sayings perhaps in the world. If you look it up for yourself, you might find even more to it on your own. So let's look over this for a moment. The, the V is pronounced in true Latin as a W. The W is pronounced in true Latin as a V or sometimes as a U sound. If you look at some of the older Roman writing, you will see they will have a V sometimes in the word, even when they spell Julius it will be a J and a V, you understand? And that V sound would either have in relation to the W, the W or a V sound, but the, the sound of it. But the letter V in true Latin has a W sound like the letter C, you understand, has a K sound. So there's two ways of pronouncing this. The modern way is, is, is Veni, Vidi, Vici or Vici, and the older way is Wayne, Weedy, Wiki, as in Wikipedia. So Wayne, Weedy, Wikipedia. Wayne, Weedy, Wikipedia. You get it? I came, I saw, I conquered the Pedia. What is the Pedia? The Pedia has two basic. First of all, ped. Ped means refers to child or pidos, the, the Latin word pidos. You understand? It also refers to a pedagogue, and a pedagogue is a child instructor. Those in the Bible probably know the verse where it says that um, the law was our schoolmaster until Christ came. Until Christ come, until Christ came, the law was our schoolmaster, and it was Torah. The Torah, the Orit, is our schoolmaster until either it can be interpreted until Christ manifests or the law. Speaking of Torah, we study Torah until we're able to receive Christ in our hearts and minds fully in the proper context. So the law and study is very important. So a pedagogue, a pedagogue, let me just write this down for those who might not know the spelling of this otherwise, but a, 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 a pedagogue, right, um, and you have pedagogue, Right, pedagogue, a pedagogue, not a pedophile. You understand? The, the not not speaking about a pedophile. You understand? Pedophile. The meaning of it is not as horrible as what is associated with today. So that's what's called connotation, where they've gone away from the etymology, the true root of it, to something else that is popularly understood. You understand? There is a Roman statement and saying that says, uh, "Vox popul, uh, vox populi, vox dei." which means um, the voice of the people is the voice of God or the voice of divinity. And politicians understand this. You understand? The politicians understand that if the people are in favor of it, they can get the people to be in favor of something. This means that they have, from their own perception and perspective, they have a divine right to do this. So the voice of the people, the vox, the vox of the populace is the vox of the day. You understand the vokes of the, the deity, in other words. So the pedagogue is a child instructor. So ped is at the root of it. So we have pedia, which both has the idea of instruction and children. So conquering the children or conquering the education, the conquer, conquer education, conquer the children. Now that could be seen in a good sense, but really is it? Since the roots of this statement goes back to J.C., 
not to Jesus Christ, our black Lord and Savior, but to Julius Caesar, who was the template for the Antichrist. Julius Caesar was the template, or Julius Caesar, Caesaris, he was the template for the Antichrist. He's that image. This is the image. Remember, the Romans were calling themselves gods. The Romans were worshipped as gods. And we're speaking about the Roman emperors, you understand, or the Roman impurers. They were worshipped as gods. You understand? And this is basically will lead to what later on will be known as the abomination that causes desolation. Now, his statement, Julius Caesar's reported statement from Plutarch, is Vani Vidi Vici. And Vidi, just to, for, for a note, Vidi is where we get the word video from. The modern word video means I saw. Well, Vidi, Vidi means I saw. Video would mean, in a sense, he saw or it was seen. You understand? It was seen. There's an amazing harmony among languages to convey certain ideas by its construction, which is very, very interesting. So, this was a little clearer. We wanted to give you this a little clearer when we looked at the, uh, the first part of the video. Some of this was not clearly seen. So we said we'll go over it one more time and then put both of those up there just so that ones who are interested in the subject matter could get a, 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 a full and a clear, um, as, as possible right now, presentation about this. So what does this mean? We still have our question about this. You understand? What the, does, is all of this just us showing an etymological link with wiki right here? Or is there more to this? than really meets the eye. That's the question that we are, are asking, and that's where this presentation will conclude at this present time. So stay tuned for the, the Ormo and the Roman, the Roman link, because Arma, Orma is biblical. There, there is a connection there, my people. So stay tuned. Look forward. More to come. Yah willing. Stay tuned. Shalom. Rastafari.